Hello Knitters, Fei Lin from Strands Knitting Studio in San Clemente, California. And today I still just have a bunch of classes, so stay tuned. Okay, I am gonna talk a little bit about what's around my neck. This is a knit I did a long time ago. So the yarn isn't in our store, but you can pretty much do it with anything. So this is called a linen stitch. And this is probably the one um, stitch that looks like, whoa, well, it actually looks like it's been woven, like you wove it instead of knitted it. And so I love it. And it's a slip one, knit one um, stitch. So, but, but it's just a really lovely, it drapes pretty well. And, but it just, I love the way, what I really love about it is the way it treats color, um, yarn that has colors in it. It sort of spreads them around in a really cool way. Um, but it looks really good in a solid color too, because again, it looks like you wove it. So it looks like you were on a loom weaving this instead of um, knitting it. And I think knitting it is easier than weaving it. So that's good. So anyways, you might consider doing something out of a linen stitch. Um, a little scarf is a good idea to try it out and see, you know, if you like it and stuff. Um, a, a whole sweater or a cardigan out of this is always gorgeous. Just, it's gorgeous. So that is a linen stitch. So I have still my classes. Um, Christina and I have both casted on sweaters. I'll talk about those next time. So we have two sweaters coming up and um, a hat class coming up and a baby sweater with cables coming up. So that's sort of what's on the horizon here. Uh, but for right now, we still have um, the Fisherman's Rib scarf is this coming Wednesday. So that was this one, Fisherman's Rib. And it's a uh, it's a knit one below, purl one, knit one below, purl one, and it's that's all you do. The whole every row is the same, nothing's different, uh, and it just makes a nice squishy rib instead of a tight rib. But if you just did knit one, purl one, it's a tight rib. You don't really see the purl stitches, but this breaks open so you actually see the the knit rows and the purl rows separately. And we have the enormi, which we still have a few colors that have enough to do like two or three. If you need two or three, we have enough. That's a big explosion of color right there. <laughs> so um, this is the Enormi and for the Fisherman's um, rib like the pattern has, which I'll put it right here, you need three. If you don't wanna do the pockets and maybe a few stitches um, narrower, you could get it out of two. And of course you can do it out of anything. Again, it's a scarf. We have this yarn in. This is what um, uh, Christine's actually knitting her sweater out of. So this is an alpaca, baby alpaca, merino wool, micro tweed compo component. So that's, it's the alpaca, but it has some little tweediness inside. Can you see the little colors in there? So just some tweediness. It's a blown in construction or is it a cable? It's a cable. It's a cable. I don't know. I don't think it's blown in. I think it's cabled. It's a cable construction, which I actually really like cable construction yarn. Seems to hold pretty well. And so we have several, I think we have up to five colors in this. This would make a really great um, fisherman's rib because it's puffy already and scrumptious. So sort of like this is, um, but not quite as big as this is, but still it's, it's, it's chunky and it would be quite luscious and it's very soft because it's alpaca. And so, so this is a consideration for your um, fisherman's rib scarf if you want to do one. And again, any yarn works, it's a scarf. So whatever you love, it's a scarf, it works. <laughs> so it's a, just a generic pattern, that's all it is. All right, so then the next one, oh, the first one coming up actually, that's, <laughs> so Fisherman's is next Wednesday. The blanket class is this Sunday. So it starts our first class, yay, is this Sunday. Um, I have like one spot I can give now, about one spot, and that's it. So if you were on the fence, it's time, <laughs> but um, so we're exp I'm expecting to have a great time and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you didn't decide to do it this year, it'll come around again next year and you can sort of sit on it this year and see what you think. And we'll talk about it a little bit more later in the year. So that's the class, the blanket class. Then um, the Ravelry. So I talked about Ravelry and it's a database for all things knitting, crochet, fiber, you name it like that. It's got uh, hundreds of thousands, literally hundreds of thousands of patterns on there from free to paid. And um, and everybody that makes a pattern, if you choose to, you can 
put in your projects. You can put this as a pattern I made. These are the yarns I use, which you do, I do. You do it mostly for yourself but it is open for everybody to see. There's no private one. So if you don't want something in there, don't put it in there. But um, because it's a database, you're filling into a database. And so you can put like, I use this yarn, these needles, la la la. And then you can put any notes that you want, any changes you made, um, if it fit, felt right, it fit right. If you didn't like the yarn, there's also stuff that you can put out in notes, um, that kind of thing. So the big reason to use it is it, it catalogs and pictures. You add pictures of your stuff too. So catalogs what you've knitted and what you knitted out of and what you used. So if for some reason you wanted to do it again, you don't have to go, what did I do? And you have no way of knowing. So that's, that's the immediate use it is for you. But then once you put that into a pattern, then if everybody, somebody clicks on the projects for this pattern, like this pattern, like this fisherman's rib scarf, if it was on there, you check and there may be 300 people that have knit this pattern. So now you can click on them and you can see all the different projects. You can see all their notes. You can see what yarns they use at what needle size, if things change, if, if then something was too small, too big, running big, all these notes for this pattern. And the best part is you get to see it on a real person. So a lot of people have their patterns. They're wearing the pattern, you know, their, their, their garment and take a picture of it. And so you can actually see what it looks like on real people and not just the models that they take gorgeous pictures of, but, but what's it look like in real life, which is always um, quite educational. <laughs> so, um, so, and that's just that much of rivalry right there. That's that much, that's it. And there's so much more. So if you just wanna go down the rabbit hole of what Ravelry is, um, that class is gonna be on Zoom. So I'm gonna be in my house, you'll be at your house, we'll meet on Zoom. I'll have my screen up and I'll be showing you all the ins and outs of Ravelry. And you can follow along on another, um, either split screen or another uh, device. Or if you just wanna hang out and just see, you know, like go in there and just see what's there before you even sign up for Ravelry, be my guest, it doesn't matter to me. So um, so that's Tuesday the 31st from four to six. And then I screwed up dates from my video to my newsletter, <laughs> screwed up dates last week. So the um, fisherman, so the tricks and tips class, I put now to February 8th. So it's gonna be February 8th from four to six, that's a Wednesday. 4 to 6, February 8th. That's the tips and tricks class. So again, this is not how to fix things. This is how to do all the little things that make a difference while you're knitting to make your knitting more efficient, to make it neater, to make it more finished looking, to make it um, more pleasurable for you to do, all those kinds of things that make, you know, there's sort of the nuances of knitting. And there are ton of nuances of knitting. I'm constantly learning nuances of knitting. Um, so that's tips and tricks. And that's going to be um, uh, February 8th from when, and that's a Wednesday, four to six. So we have the blanket class this Sunday. Next Wednesday, the 25th, this is a fisherman's rib from four to six. Ravelry class will be Tuesday, the 31st from four to six. And then tips and tricks will be February 8th from four to six on Wednesday. So that's the lineup. It's gonna be in the email. I'll make sure it's correct of, of what I just said. <laughs> and it's also on the website. So that's what's coming up. Now I've, I've finished our video. So I have the rest of this video is gonna be the compilation of I've, what everybody finished or what I got pictures of what everybody finished. I know this is just a portion of what people finished because not everybody sent me pictures, but uh, the video's here and so I hope you enjoy it again we Christine and I love you guys it was a great year we had a lot of fun and just totally looking forward to a great uh, 2023 with everybody and so far the start's been amazing it's been busy buzzing everybody's excited it's it's just fun it's just fun <laughs> so I'm gonna say goodbye for now and enjoy the video <laughs>